hey, it's Zell. The student asked why I switched over from Sublime Text to VS Code, and he is wondering whether he should switch. So here's a quick answer to that question. I switched from Sublime Text to VS Code because of two reasons. The first reason is because I can mouse over a function or a parameter in Visual Studio Code, and I can see where it came from. Uh, I mean, I can see the parameters that it requires. So in this case, when I mouse over create result strings, I see what is key, displayed num, and what is state. That allows me, I mean, that gives me a, an insight to what this function does if I ever forget about it. And if I want to check the source code, I can click on, uh, I can hold option and click on it, and then I will be directed to that code itself. So this helps me with debugging, if, uh, especially if there are multiple JavaScript files that are open at the same time. It also works for other variables, like for example, if I mouse over a calculator, it tells me that this is an element. If I click on it, it brings me to this line where it says calculator doc document, uh, calculator is equal to document.query selector calculator. So this is one of the main reasons why I switched. Uh, basically for JavaScript stuff. The second reason why I switched is because I wanted to teach people how to set up a text editor and that would help them learn JavaScript. And Sublime Text was really too much of a pain to set up, especially the part about the, what's that, um, the, the whole command platelet thing. That was difficult for someone who hasn't learned about coding at all. Um, so I explored other uh, solutions and chance upon VS Code. I fell in love with how VS Code was easy for beginners to pick up, and that is why I switched. And while switching, I created a series of videos, as you can tell. Um, I will link a I'll put a link to the videos in the description below. So if you are interested to watch the videos, you can um, go watch it. So the bottom line is if I didn't want to teach someone how to use, uh, how to learn JavaScript, I probably wouldn't have explored Visual Studio Code and I probably wouldn't have switched. I would still be using Sublime Text. Should you switch over from Sublime Text to Visual Studio Code? That is entirely your decision. In my opinion, a text editor is simply a tool. If the tool works, then it really doesn't matter whether you choose Sublime Text or Visual Studio Code. Both of them work well. Don't switch over if you are already happy with what you have. Switch only if you are unhappy with what you currently have. Because time is limit limited, spend it wisely, spend it on things that are important. I hope this video has been useful. If you have any questions about front-end development, leave them in the comments below and I will try to make videos to answer them. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button below so I can send you one video like this every Friday. Or better yet, go over to my blog at zellwk.com and subscribe over there. If you do so, I can send you an article and a video every week to help you become a better front-end developer. Thanks for watching, happy Friday and have a nice weekend. I'll see you next Friday.